Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I, I'm fine if you ask me, I hope you're good. Um, a little disclaimer, I'm sorry if I repeat a sentence or a word or anything. It's because I don't read the fanfic or the one shot before the recording because I don't have time for that and yeah. This one is a Dobby X listener. This one is requested by Elizua, my Onesan. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think there's any time to lose, so I think I should start now. So, hope you enjoy the video, and yeah, bye. Prom. Nothing's better than a cozy at home date, even if Ryan is dating a highly dangerous and highly wanted villain. The apartment was quiet, and he stood over the stove, boiling some water for a few slash coffee slash hot chocolate. He glanced at the clock and saw you had a few minutes before your boyfriend would be arriving. However, he would never arrive on time. Sometimes he was early, sometimes he was late, but never on time. He took the pan off the stove burner and poured it equal into both of the two cups. You mix the drinks up carefully to avoid spilling anything. When you are done, you put the pan into the sink and stretch your arms upwards. You yawned as you did that, but it turned into a light skill when you felt someone grab your waist. You turned around and knocked the person in the head out of instinct. Hey, watch it! Your boyfriend cried as his hands left your waist to now hold the side of his head, which you brutally punch. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! You, you exclaimed as you put your hand over his. You are kind of laughing at yourself as you apologized. Though of course you would do something like that. I honestly didn't think you could hit that hard. Dabby confessed. I thought you're some creep who broke into my house. You admitted. I mean, I wasn't completely wrong. It's not breaking in if you have a key. Dabby stated. So, how have you been? He asked to try and lift the tension. Other than getting slugged by a girl, eh, not too bad. Dabby said with a shrug of his shoulders. I made us tea, such coffee, such hot chocolate. You said as you gestured to the cups you were just preferring. Do you want some? He nodded and you handed him the warm cup. What are the plans? What are the plans for tonight? He asked as he accepted the mug, you, the mug you prepared for him. I didn't really have any. You exclaimed. You explained. Maybe we can watch a movie or something. Eh, whatever you want, Dabby said with a soft smile. You are happy that he smiled. It showed that it showed he felt comfortable and safe around you. You were very close and he showed you a side of himself. He didn't show anyone. That made you feel loved, which he desperately needed. You knew he needed it too, so in return you gave him all the love in the world. You got you got you got <laughs> you got comfy on the sofa and turned on Netflix. You yeah. <laughs> you flipped through the movies as Dabby joined you. You click play and wrap the throw blanket that was on so far around yourself snugly. Dabby grabbed you and pulled you close to him. What do you think you're doing? You asked in a playful tone as your boyfriend put him s put his arms around you. <sighs> he punched me. It's the least you can do, Dabby stated and you laughed. I'm sorry again, you said, snuggling and closer to him. He felt warm and easy to cuddle with. It was a bit strange. He looked awfully scary, but he liked to hold you close when he could. For someone as dangerous as Dabby, he was sure cut. He was sure was cuddly. I had to repeat so many things. Oh my god, I feel bad for you guys. <laughs> Elizua. Um, if you're if you're still here, I gotta tell something. Dabby's a creep. Hey, okay. Um, go follow my Instagram. It's on my bio. I'm pretty sure Elizabeth well will attack me any second right now. Okay, okay, bye. Um, please subscribe.